Hello, my name's Tim Coulson. I'm co-host of the Science of the Times podcast and a little bit of science news for you. So in many of the newspapers, including the Financial Times, there's reports about new funding initiatives from um, government and um, non-governmental societies. So, for example, relatively recently, the Department of Science for Science, Innovation and Technology announced some new funding. The Royal Society has subsequently announced some new funding, as has the Royal Academy of Engineering. And this funding is new funding, and it's targeted particularly at talented American scientists who may be looking to relocate from North America or from America, from the USA over to the UK. The reason for this is that there's a considerable amount of, um, of, um, of anxiety and um, lack of clarity on what's going to happen to science funding in the US. The major funding bodies are the National Institute of Health and the National Science Foundation have had their budgets frozen, or sometimes cut. And this means that grants that go to researchers have also been frozen or have not been awarded. And it's unclear what the future holds as there is a continual push to um, uh, supposedly increase efficient efficiency in um, US governments. And that means that many scientists who rely on those sources of funding are unable to do the research that they want. So what the UK government, and that's important research, so it's, it, 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 it's research on aspects of health. So for example, antimicrobial resistance, so how microbes evolve resistance to the drugs we use, such as antibiotics, but also quantum computing. So quantum computing offers a significant advance in, in um, computational abilities going forwards. And so what the UK government has done is it's seen an opportunity, along with the Royal Society and the Royal, um, uh, the Royal Academy of Engineering, it's seen an opportunity to potentially encourage uh, those um, those scientists, those leading scientists in uh, in the US who are concerned about the future, uh, an alternative opportunity to move to the UK. Um, the, the amount of money is fairly significant over the next decade or so. It's about two billion and that's about 10 percent of the government's science and education research budget. So I thought that was interesting news. Uh, it's uncertainty in science funding, you know, puts a lot of alarm in um, academics and researchers across the board. So hopefully this initiative provides a little bit of stability for those people who are thinking about moving across from the US. We certainly know that that's a fairly common thought. We're getting lots of inquiries from US scientists about the opportunities to move. Thank you. 